morning. It's Monday. I feel a bit rusty with vlogging because I haven't done any vlogs for what feels like forever. But Charlotte, my sister, who has been working with me um, doing some admin and packing orders and kind of helping me out two days a week over the summer, has said that I need to vlog because yeah I get asked about it all the time and it's just the editing bit that I hate um, it takes such a long time and when I'm juggling so many other things it's the one thing that falls off the radar so she has said she's gonna help with the editing um, so we'll see how it goes in the meantime though I'm gonna tuck into my breakfast in the garden it's overnight oats with um, some apricots that we um, kind of like roasted on the barbecue yesterday um, and some peanut butter and red currants from the farmer's market. So, gonna enjoy that now. So I've had my breakfast. Um, Jack's just making his lunch uh, for work and the first job of the day, because it looks like it's gonna be a hot one, is to water all the vegetables because otherwise they're gonna dry up and go crispy and that is not what we want because everything is looking so good. Let me show you. There's all these little ones. This is aubergine. This is also an aubergine. Uh, this guy's a cucumber. <laughs> Some more tomatoes in my makeshift pots to give them extra soil. Um, this one's a melon. Um, I have more tomatoes. Can you guess I like tomatoes? Chilies in those pots down there. Spinach. Rocket. And that one's gonna be little cut and come again lettuces. <laughs> There's a theme here, more tomatoes. These guys are all different types of beans. Red basil, basil, chilies, uh, parsley, mint and tarragon, more beans, uh, alpine strawberries. Um, and then in here, we had quite a lot of them for dinner so it's a bit sparse, but beetroots. So the first proper task that isn't just watering plants uh, of the day is to tidy my tip of a studio. <laughs> Do you want to see what it looks like now? Uh, I think I'm filming it just so I can shame myself into actually tidying it. Is what it's like. So my reflector is still out. Got ironing board <laughs> here with a print on it because haven't put that away. Kate, my friend, topped up my confetti tub because she's amazing and she makes pinatas and um these are all the offcuts basically and i put them in all of my um etsy orders and my own store orders as well so that can go there i mean that's one thing done this cupboard is open because luna's worked out how to open it, it keeps clambering around inside and my mail bags are just on the floor because i'm too lazy to put them back there these are my backdrops, um, pretty coloured papers that I use for photography. Uh, my desk just kind of looks like hell, but there is floor space, so, you know. I mean, that's where we're at, it's, it's a bit, oh, and I haven't put everything away properly here. So it's not too bad, but also it's not great. It's not great for a Monday morning to start getting your work done. So I'm gonna crack on and I'll show you in a bit once it's done. Pray for me. It's five to nine, which isn't too bad, but definitely sat here for like 20 minutes, lost on Instagram, on my phone, and I haven't done any tidying at all. Even that drawer is still open. Okay, I'm genuinely gonna start now. Okay, so the postman has just delivered something exciting to distract me from tidying yet again. Can you see it? I've never ordered anything from Sweaty Betty before because I am a devout Lululemon supporter through and through. But Hannah, Pup Tart, Hannah, um, was wearing this very thing the other day and I was like, oh my god, I need it. You'll see why in a minute. So I'm gonna get it out and try it on and hopefully it fits. Can we just... Take a second to appreciate 
how amazing this is. So it's like a crop top with cacti all over it and it's got this cool like mesh back. So Hannah looks amazing in it and I'm hoping that I might look okay in it too. It's an extra small because advice online said that Sweaty Betty comes up a bit big. So with any luck I can squeeze my shoulders slash torso into this. Let's see. So it fits. It actually fits really well. And weirdly, it might actually be a little bit big. It's probably because I have no boobs. They are just pecs these days. But I do fear for people who are actually extra small because I'm not. And this is really big. Are all the sweaty betty things like much bigger than normal sizing? I don't know. Either way, I really like it. I can't really, can I show you? Yeah, there you go. So it's like a little crop top and it goes quite nicely with my high-waisted Lululemons, I think. I think I'm gonna wear it to kickboxing tonight. Let's be honest, got it on now. Probably just not gonna take it off all day, but I think it's cool. So the studio is now tidy, um, tick. And I have just spent the last um, 15 minutes or so contacting some accountants, um, which sounds really boring and also really terrifying because for the last four years I've submitted all of my tax returns myself, I've done all of my accounts myself, bar um, kind of a few of the bookkeeping side of things where I've had people, family, um, help me. Um, you know, here and there. My dad has helped put loads of receipts into spreadsheets, Jack's mum helped, and more recently Charlotte's been helping. Um, so that's really good, but um, I'm at a point in my business now where my tax bill has... This year my tax bill has shocked me. I've like not submitted my return, but I have got my spreadsheet together and put the numbers into a tax predictor and Let's just say it was the biggest shock ever. So I feel like there's areas where I'm not claiming for things that I should be. I potentially um, am paying too much tax um, or I'm just not au fait with the accounting side of business. So uh, it is half past one and I'm just walking down to collect my car from the garage because I dropped it off for its MOT. I just realized that this is the first time I've filmed myself in public again for ages and I'm getting really weird looks and I think I still have to get back over that like filming in public, people thinking it's a really strange thing um, but I'm doing it so hey ho but yeah, car passed the MOT which I wasn't expecting at all because it's a 2004 Fiesta and so I thought it was going to have a million and one things wrong with it but hey, it's more reliable than I thought it was Hey fever today man Um, that was pretty painless. You know when you're a girl and you take your car for an MOT and you just don't know whether they're going to totally rip you off and say that there's a million things wrong with it and there isn't. Because to be honest, we've had it probably, what, five years or so and in that time and every year it's had its MOT, the bill has been several hundred pounds so maybe I have been being ripped off in the past. Another thing I forgot from uh, not vlogging, my vlog hiatus, was that you have to be a juggler to vlog because trying to juggle camera, water bottle, treat milk, uh, and my backpack, and all my keys. Have I even put my keys in my bag? I have to be, have to be a real multitasker. Uh, anyway, off to town. See you in a bit. Yeah. the park as the sun has gone in but Alana is as Casper pale as me if not paler um, so we're sat in the shade anyway but look who we're with Betty this little cutie <laughs> look at this dress it's got strawberries all over it oh Alana's looking after her today so we've come for a park date Look how white we both are. <laughs> we're like so white. <laughs> we're like blinding bright. This is Alana. Uh, yeah, Alana's finished eating her lunch, so now I'm allowed to show her on the camera. And uh, yeah, she's heading back now because Betty's parents are going to be back at their house, and uh, she doesn't want to 
Pitiful looked like she, yeah, she <laughs> looked like she's stolen their child, basically. Um, so I'm gonna go into town and grab some really exciting things like poo bags for the litter tray and <laughs> sun cream, sun cream <laughs> and deodorant. Oh, what a time to be alive. <laughs> I'm back home, Jack is home, and I've got kickboxing in a couple of hours, so I don't really have time to have dinner without feeling like I'm gonna vom during kickboxing. So I'm eating corn, cocktail sausages. Sound disgusting, they taste really good. Are you hungry? Mama, are you hungry? Do you want some dinner? morning and it appears that our glorious summer that I thought was here to stay has gone. It's miserable out, it's pouring with rain, totally grey and kind of cold. My little sister Charlotte is heading down here now. She is working for me this summer, two days a week, which is really really helpful um, and today we've got quite a long to-do list. So one of those things uh, on it was to head to the new forest and get some pictures of um, the new patch collection actually on clothing uh, but it's not really the weather for that so we might have to postpone that and get on with some other things that we can do inside. It's half past nine and I have a helper in the studio. <laughs> Charlotte's here! <laughs> Ta -da! Um, Charlotte is packing some orders. Um, so I've been printing out these. all of the addresses, all of these. And um, yeah, and Charlotte's basically going to be packing them. So we're already making a bit of a mess in the studio, but <laughs> totes fine. Postman just delivered something exciting! Momo, do you not care? Can I just point out that for this filming angle, Charlotte is oh. laying <laughs> under my desk. Momo's disappeared because the postman just knocked on the door again uh, with something less exciting. Maybe he just thinks it's a present for the baby. There must be a more, well, a less ridiculous way of putting this together. <laughs> it is easy, it's just kind of confusing. Seriously though, how cute is this? Look! Me and Charlotte were just saying we really want one in like a human size, just to like snuggle up in. Um, but it's really nicely made. It's really sweet. Um, now we just have to get Momo to uh, explore. Oh. He approves! <laughs> Brilliant! He <laughs> <laughs> all over the TV. <laughs> he has to christen everything <laughs> with a whole load of sneezes. What do you think? <laughs> do you like it, Stinker? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a yes. So Luna's arrived. She's soaking wet. She's been outside in the pouring rain. And she's decided that the teepee is quite nice too. Looks like it's a successful round. Like, when do you ever get anything for cats that they actually like or play with? Like... Such a rarity. Poor Charlie doesn't feel very well, so she is having a lie down. I am still sat here at my desk, such an exciting rainy Tuesday, and um, I've been editing the uh, new website. So I'm moving over, I don't know if I already said, 
from uh, Big Cartel, which I've been using for the past four years, over to Shopify. Um, it's more expensive, uh, a platform to use, but it's some, a lot more sophisticated. For my product side of things, I have the ability to, when people place an order and I mark that it's dispatched, like simple things that Big Cartel doesn't have, like it will send them a dispatch notification, which will save me time because currently, I don't have that facility. As well as that, it's got abandoned cart um, notifications, so if people put things in their basket and then don't end up buying them, it can send a reminder to people to say, hey, I think you forgot something, like a day or a couple of days later. Um, I can do gift cards. Um, it's a lot more customizable. Um, uh, I can take Apple Pay, PayPal, all of the major credit cards. I can have a bigger inventory and just kind of it's a bit of an upgrade really, so I've been working on it for probably two months now, like plodding along and doing bits where I can, but I'm hoping to get it launched on the 28th of July, so that's like two weeks time. It's kind of hard to show um, a screen stuff on here, so I kind of I hope you can see, but basically this is my checkout page. I have added this um, cute little um, patterned background um, to the checkout page, uh, my logo here, um, and then I've kind of customised the colours and stuff. With Shopify I've got the ability to kind of do all of the customization in this side menu here. Whoop, and then... Um, the main home page, just to give you a little sneaky peeky, looks like this. It's got cute little click through slideshow here, which kind of shows you different products that might be interesting and relevant on on trend at the moment. And then these cute little boxes that allow you to hop straight over to patches and pins. Um, bestsellers, newsletter sign up, yeah that's what it's looking like and um, how I'm doing it is basically I've got my um, iPad Pro uh, and my iPad Pencil and what I do is I basically at the moment it's mirroring my screen using an app called AstroPad uh, which is that guy there. AstroPad basically allows me to use Photoshop on my Mac because it mirrors exactly what's on the screen um, and allows me to use the pencil to draw. So I've been um, hand drawing these. Um, I also did this little newsletter sign up here. Um, so I kind of just write everything on the iPad and design it directly in this, save it as a PNG and um, yeah, upload it straight onto my site. So that's kind of how I've done uh, all of these um, little cute graphics and the kind of font that goes over these. I love my iPad. It's really, really, really good. It's such a cool tool for productivity and yeah, AstroPad is like a game changer because I was previously using a Wacom tablet and it was just so clunky and having to use the pen like here but look at the screen because there was no screen on this, you know, was... A bit of a ball ache so this is really perfect and it kind of suits what I do um, really well. home today so uh making some for him too and poor charlie's still feeling ill so we're gonna have some lunch and then maybe she'll have something later also look at these aren't they amazing they're from the farmer's market on sunday and lizzie who runs pugs meadow flowers um she grows all of these uh and they're incredible and usually every week she if there's any left over gives me a bunch and it's just they're just amazing like i don't know what these are but they're just incredible. She's really kind and it just so happens that she is also doing our wedding flowers, uh, which I'm really, really excited about. Anyway, lunch. This is kind of what I have <laughs> on repeat or a slight variation of pretty much every day. <laughs> Riverford, um, we get delivered every week. Uh, it comes on a Tuesday, so it came this morning. We've got some really gorgeous salad leaves. Some free basil, which is nice. 
Broad beans, which I actually hate, <laughs> we keep getting at the moment, uh, but Jack really likes them, so that's fine. Some cute little cucumbers, and there's some courgettes in here too, and another pointed cabbage. Anyway, so this is some uh, vegan slaw that I made at the weekend for a barbecue. I'm going to finish that, and some uh, roasted broccoli and cauliflower. God, I love black olives. Bit of raw carrot. Fresh salsa, which I love. Uh, hummus. Can't live without that. Avocado, because what millennial slash hipster doesn't have avocado with every lunchtime? Cucumber. These tomatoes from the Isle of Wight Tomato Company, which I buy at the farmer's markets every week, they're like roasted and they're with fennel and chilli and they're not like sun-dried tomatoes, which I don't actually like because I find them really leathery and too intense. But yeah, they're like, they're really lovely. They've got an amazing flavour and they're so much better than any you can buy in the shops. Frank's, because I douse everything in it. Um, beetroot from the garden and sprinkle of munchie seeds um, which I buy in these huge tubs and we haven't got much left of. So I think that's going to be lunch pretty much and maybe some tomatoes too. Ta -da. So just finished legs, bugs and tums. That was hell. Haven't done it for 18 months and I literally want to die right now. Look at my face, look at my hair. Sweaty mess. Look at this. This is so miserable. I literally look horrific. We got soaked walking to Waitrose and out of Waitrose into the car, which was fun. But yeah, we're gonna have this for dinner. Uh, I haven't tried it before and I've already got pasta sauce all over it. From Waitrose. <laughs> it's called Pastella, but it's like fresh vegetable pasta, it's vegan, and it's 40% broccoli and peas. And I think it's wheat free as well, it uses durum flour. So, Momo's trying to get in his bag. You're gonna get stuck. It is half past 10. I've just had a shower and cleaned my sweaty self after the gym and getting rained on. And yeah, it's time to pack my bags because uh, tomorrow I am heading out super early um, to drive down to Somerset for um, Weekend In's Summer of Colour event, which I'm really looking forward to because A, there's some people on the list going that I really, really love and I don't often get to see because they're geographically spread across the country, and B, because there are a couple of people that I've never met before but I chat to all the time on Instagram. Lizzie Unwin, I am looking at you. So yeah, really excited to um, socialise with some really cool people and get inspired and just have a really nice time. So everything's on charge. I'm just gonna throw my clothes together. And that's all from me. So good night, I'll see you in the morning. Sleep tight. Good morning, it is Wednesday. It's nearly half past eight. I'm running a tiny bit late. Um, I've just gotta have my breakfast, which I've brought upstairs with me. Uh, I've done my makeup and then I am going to head off. I think it will take me about two and a quarter hours and I need to be there by 11.30. So I'm gonna give myself like two and a half hours. Hopefully that'll be okay. And Charlie, who's over there, you can first see a tiny head, um, who just had her toast. She is going to man the fort today and look after the catsies. I've gotta get going. I'm about an hour away, it is 20 past, so that's all right, I should be there just about on time, but yeah, I had to stop at McDonald's um, just to go for a wee because I was literally desperate. I was in danger of wetting myself, but anyway, had a wee, back on the road. It is 
behind me. Um, looks really nice so far. It's in the middle of nowhere and the last couple of miles of driving were literally through the tiniest tracks that you couldn't even see around the corners and could only just fit the car through. So it's all good. Mum and dad live in the countryside so I'm kind of used to that. Um, but yeah, it's kind of fun. It's really pretty. I'm uh, looking forward to meeting everyone. Well, this is amazing. Um, the views are incredible and the house is just beautiful. So this is my room. I'll give you a little tour. Got a massive bed. Super cute artwork there. Oh, look. Oh, look. Wilderness flowers. Thanks, guys. Some sweet peas. Oh, my. A little goodie bag there. I'll look at that in a bit. And then out here... Look at this. Look at that view. Like, this is incredible. Oh, look at that garden. Goals. And the lake. You know, just casual. It's really nice. Already been given a lovely apple juice. Got a little bag there. This looks like my bathroom. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> Ooh, peppermint and rosemary soap from Daisy Age. Oh, look at this candle. It smells amazing. I love it when they're in their science beakers. And this shower is quite literally enormous. And it's a rainhead one. Beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> before we wreck the joint, yeah. <laughs> Just a casual cinema room. I've got one, haven't you? How cute is this? So, not only is the house amazing, look how dark it is, <laughs> um, but there's a pool. I am, oh my gosh, something to explore. I'm the first one here. I don't know if I said that already, I probably did. But, um, I've already had a nosy. Look at this, there's like games room in the barn. Ta-da! Ping pong, mum. Ping pong table, you'd love it here, it's perfect. And, oh my God, I'm gonna like, trip on these steps for sure. Look at this, bloody hell guys. Oh, look. Look at that view. That's just mad. It's in like a massive, like, purpose built, I think. Barn. So cool. So we just had <clears throat> a really nice session um, with Louisa from La Eva and I learned loads actually about skincare because I'm not a massive skincare person but I am quite into organic everything and she was telling us that uh, like a cosmetic product certified as organic it only needs to have one percent organic ingredients in it which is insane and, and really misleading I think so her stuff doesn't have just one percent it's like 80 percent so that was really interesting also just had lunch, that was really nice. Just gonna have a cup of tea with everyone and then I think we've got like a inspirational mood board sort of workshop. So I'll let you know how that goes. It is half past six and everybody else is headed home. We've just done an amazing gin masterclass. It's Emily and Olivia who organised the event and me, Fran and Alexia left. So we are going in the pool. Nobody else is ready yet, but I'm bikinist bean whenever it comes to swimming. So bikini clad and they've got jazzy, jazzy little uh, beach towels for us. So I've snagged this one with a parrot on. <laughs> it looks like you're wearing a donut. <laughs> How is it? It's good. It's warm. Is it warm? Yeah, it's warm. Yeah. Okay, there they are. 
warm. So we've been in for like, how long have we been in? We've been in for nearly an hour. No, we haven't. Yeah, we have. I'm like a prune, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, prune fingers. <laughs> Brown's like a panda. <laughs> <laughs> little bit, little baby, baby panda. I have had a nice shower. I am in my pusheen pajamas and my comfy stealth top. Um, and I thought it might be a nice time before we have dinner to show you what we have in our little goodie bags. The guys that just did the, di the gin tasting, six o'clock gin, have given us a huge bottle of gin and two different of their own tonic waters to take home and try. So that's pretty amazing. Um, it was really lovely gin, even though I'm totally not a drinker. Like I do like gin, but I have one and I'm like, whoa, swinging from the chandeliers. So probably won't be downing that, but uh, we're having some friends around on Saturday for a party um, because it's one of their birthdays. So it'll be a really nice opportunity to get the gin out and share it around. This was on my bedside table. Um, again. There we are. Let's have a look. I've got the smallest face in the known universe. Oh, wow, these are really nice. Looky. Cute little sprig of lavender um, from, I think that's from Wilderness Flowers who've done all the florals for the event. There is, ooh, a bottle of the uh, hand lotion we tried earlier in Roseum from La Ava. We have a cute little wrapped parcel. What could it be? Oh sweet! Ah. Oh how cute are those? Really nice socks, they're really soft and pastel-y. Laboratory perfumes, they're the guys that make the candles that are in the bathroom. Woo! Look at that! This is all of their signature scents, there's like mini little testers. That's really cute, I like that packaging. Crichton's chocolate. I love these guys. Um, chili chocolate sounds pretty good. I might actually try some of this after dinner. But yeah, I can hear everyone else outside, so I'm gonna go join the rest. Good morning, it is Thursday. It's 10 past seven and I think I might be the first one up. Um, my alarm normally goes off at 10 past seven and I didn't set an alarm this morning, but I woke up at 10 past seven on the dot. Weird. Um, had a really nice sleep. And it's so nice waking up to this view. I had planned to go for a run this morning because I knew it was going to be really pretty and countrysidey around here. But I brought all of my running gear except my trainers, which is really irritating. And the only trainers I have are my pink Nike Theas, which are not are not good for running. That plan's pretty much out the window. But I could do a yoga. Tempted to do a yoga. Might look a bit strange. Do a yoga. Do some yoga. Might look a bit strange if somebody else comes in and I'm doing a downward dog. yoga which is really nice Alexia went for a run Fran went for a swim uh, yeah it's been a really nice morning so far um, everybody else arrives at about 11 30 and it's half past nine now so we've just already had a couple of hours of relaxing and I think I'm just gonna get ready sort this out and um, just chill been really nice really really enjoying it so far and everybody's so lovely so it feels like it's a really nice like restorative sort of couple of days. It's just really nice to be in the company of people that kind of do the same sort of thing and kind of understand what it's like being self-employed. My hair doesn't want to play ball today. Look at this. I am dressed. I am rocking a Monstera leaf patch on today's outfit. Packed all my bags so I don't have to do that later. And I um, might just sit outside. Chill. We're doing a uh, like a bikini and cool towels and shoes and sunglasses kind of styling shot and Emma is on the table. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> Ooh. 
sure she had banned as if. <laughs> but it matches her t shirt. <laughs> this looks so good. It is cute. <laughs> right. Okay, squeeze it. Oh no, out of the sun, out of the sun. Can I even fit a sun? <laughs> I'm going to go down. <laughs> Look at mine and Fran's outrageously massive Frida Kahlo slash what you uh, what uh, are you repping? I have no idea. <laughs> just like just put your it own all style on. icon. Yeah. More is more, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I just got. Ooh. Lizzie's just getting changed in the background, guys, but I'm uh, <laughs> totally not filming her. Not nudie rudy though, so it's totally fine. Oh look, pink to match the bedroom. You wish it was a, a crop top. I wish this was just a pajama Why crop top. Crop top pajamas. <laughs> so this, as you may notice, is not the one that was in the box that was gifted to me. <laughs> that is though. <laughs> so uh, yeah, those trousers were disgustingly tight on me, like ridiculously tight in fact, not disgustingly, but like so tight I felt like I was gonna hulk rip out of them with my <laughs> with my hips. So gone for <laughs> I mean I'm just gonna leave I'm gonna leave Lizzie to hulk rip her butt out of them. Um yeah I've gone with like a little night shirt instead. Friday morning. It's just gone half past seven. I woke up really early um, at six o'clock because I was paranoid um, about missing the bin collection because Jack normally does it and he's still not home. So I'm wearing my um, yawn um, kind of like nightshirt thing that they um, gifted to me at a uh, weekend in and it's really really comfortable so I'll be living in this so I scuttled out in this at six o'clock this morning to put the bins out and then I thought what's the point in going back to sleep today mum is staying over actually which is really nice um she hasn't stayed in our new house yet yeah Jack should be coming back this evening from Newcastle from where he's been working for the last few days um but at half past one we have got a meeting at the dress shop in Winchester and it's my very first dress fitting so I'm really hoping that it fits hopefully that goes well um, I'm going along with mum and my maid of honour and Bezzy pal Gemma, which will be really nice. And then we're going to go for lunch afterwards. Might be a bit like sporadic today's filming, but I'll show you what I can. It is half twelve, I need to scuttle off and collect Gemma. Mum's meeting us in Winchester, so she's gone ahead already. And I've kind of thrown my hair up into um, basically one of those big stretchy Primark hair bands and just tucked it all in. So it's like vaguely up and a little bit wedding-y to try my dress on. And I've also done my makeup um, kind of similarly to how um, Lisa's gonna do it for my wedding day. So hopefully I'll get a good idea of what my dress is gonna look like on me on the day. But yeah, I'm gonna be late, so I'm gonna go. We made it to Winchester despite really bad traffic on the M3, which is always <laughs> ideal. Um, Gemma's here! <laughs> Mum's here, all there. <laughs> You're so far in the background, just like a pedestrian on the pedestrian crossing. <laughs> um, yeah, so gonna try it on. Hope it fits. Moment of truth. <laughs> Just gone half past four and I'm back from my dress fitting and lunch with Gemma and mum and it's really 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 nice weather out which is nice so I've hung all of our washing outside so glam I know it's like the most basic <laughs> desperate housewives thing to say but it's so nice having a garden finally and being able to actually dry washing outside and not have it taking forever to dry inside and sitting damp which is gross I'm in my bikini top and half of my jumpsuit was pulled down because I don't want tan lines because cause dress and I've got about an hour yeah about an hour before I have to leave to go into town because I'm meeting Gemma again and we're gonna go to the gym uh, abs cancelled my PT 
which is a shame but we're just going to go anyway and do our own thing and then uh jack is getting back from the airport from newcastle and i think he's going to get a train into town so we're going to have some dinner maybe with Gemma and simon as well maybe just me and jack we're not sure yet but uh yeah nice day how you doing piggy how you doing Got my keys, got my bag, got my stuff. Off to the gym to meet Gemma. And we are going for dinner with her and Simon. Franco Manka. Mmm, pizza. Mm -hmm. 